Water security, what can be more important? Hi, I'm Zia. And I'm Roshni. We have a small farm here in southern Ecuador uh, overlooking the beautiful, world-famous village of Vilcabamba. We harvest 300 cubic meters, that's 300,000 liters of water per year, with only 90 centimeters of rainfall per year. Explore with us simple solutions for how to heal the water cycle that crop production and successful reforestation depends upon. And really what we're talking about is having a very different relationship with water, which is the source of life. We're talking about giving back water to the earth and having respect for water. Water is very related to climate change. We can help stabilize climate change with these methods of water harvesting and water retention landscaping. Large tracts of land around the globe once were forests and now they are deserts. Relative to geologic time, this has happened like a flash. Let's look closer at some of the dynamics. The water cycle of rain flowing to rivers, then to the sea and returning to the clouds. This is familiar, but let's look a little closer at how the water cycle becomes interrupted. 85% of precipitation comes to the earth in the form of condensation on the leaves in a forest. Of the rain that returns to the clouds, nearly 75% is returned via tree leaves in the form of transpiration or evaporation. The rain cycle is broken with deforestation. Now let's look at the setting of this project. Vilcabamba Valley is world famous for longevity due to its perfect climate, crystalline water, and balanced ecosystem. People live here longer than almost anywhere on earth. But look at the abandoned trees on the ridge tops. Much of this valley, like much of the world, has suffered deforestation. The rain cycle has been interrupted and the climate is warming. Erosion is a problem and small-scale erosion leads to large-scale erosion and sometimes landslides. When land is denuded, fertility is also lost and production slumps. Downstream problems of contamination and flooding are very costly. What are the solutions? Around the world, people are catching on to a simple solution for deforestation. It's called water retention landscaping, or sometimes water harvesting. First, we must observe where are the natural water flows down the slope, and then measure the contour of the land and dig canals that are level so they catch and contain rainfall and allow it to penetrate into the land. These level ditches are called swales or water retention canals. We form catchment basins at points where water collects naturally or small ponds that increase the volume of the water harvested. These small ponds are meant to filter water into the land also. This is a way we can return water to Madre Tierra. We can give back. With good planning, and permaculture design principles that are appropriate to the site. This method can completely heal an area and allow for forests to integrate with crops. We always start with thorough observation to support good design and successful implementation. This method will help heal the rain cycle and support good production. Let's look a little more closely at how swales work. They collect rainwater and also nutrients, which are slowed down so they can sink deeply into the earth. Much more water can be stored in the earth than in a tank, and it will support a bank of trees and or crops. With certain conditions, the underground plume of water will surface, causing the spring to flow again. The water that penetrates the earth also helps recharge aquifers. In permaculture, we say that when water is running, we ask it to walk. Check dams to slow water down can be made with many types of materials that are widely available. Here are some before and after images of this method, and some of the results are miraculous. 
It is also possible to collect water for a larger reservoir. And the Los Plateau in China is the largest scale desert reclamation project to date, using these simple and accessible methods. So how do we bring these methods to the community level? How do we spread them across the land? Our half-hectare farm captures approximately 300 cubic meters of rainwater per year that are distributed throughout the growing beds with gravity. We have a simple system for capturing the runoff from the road above us, which flows to sediment ponds that help clean the water. The roof catchment is collected by tanks we use for our tilapia pond and gardens in the dry months. Contour canals, or swales, distribute water to the growing beds. Here's the conceptual drawing for the next step in the development of our model. Adding another half hectare will allow us to build a catchment pond with this 300 cubic meters of water that we harvest. This small watershed is another potential model. Hola, soy Víctor. En esta finca estamos implementando y poniendo en práctica los métodos de conservación y captación, filtración de agua en la tierra, que son las técnicas ancestrales. And this 140 hectare farm will provide a large scale model that encompasses two climate zones. In large extensions or small, this method helps heal the land and heal the water cycle. Early intervention means simple, low-cost solutions. Late intervention means large and expensive solutions. The conclusions are that water retention landscaping helps maintain soil fertility, high production, crop diversity, and makes reforestation much more possible. The best way to save water and to restore aquifers is to accumulate water in the land, reducing costs and improving soil quality. Good water management practices in the uplands will solve many problems of landslides and flooding in the lowlands. Good water management directly benefits individuals and families as well as communities in so many ways. So share this video with your friends because this method can be used all around the world, everywhere. Thank you.